Introducing the new Application Menu 2010. The Application Menu 2010 is part of the XAM Ribbon Control and it's based on the backstage view that you'll find in the Microsoft Ribbon. This menu is usually used to replace the original application menu that you might be used to, to older, in older versions of Microsoft Office. And the application menu 2010 includes a pop-up style window that displays below the ribbon and stretches to fill the entire application area. So if I click on this file tab, you'll get the application menu 2010 which fills up my entire area. Compare that with the other tab groups of the ribbon that you're used to. The application menu 2010 is essentially designed to host various buttons or any other elements to represent commands that aren't necessarily related to the context of the current item you're working on. If we want to use the Microsoft Office Word application as an example, as you're editing within a Word document, you might find such commands like copy, paste, delete, or font-related or alignment-related commands. However, if you go to the file menu, you might find commands related to source control, checking in and checking out, um, other types of versioning, or recents, or help in general, which are not really related to the specifics of the, the current document that you're working on. So keeping this in mind, Think of ways where you could integrate this into your application to provide a better end user experience for your Silverlight application. So how do you enable this application menu 2010 for your Silverlight application while you're using the XAM ribbon control? Well, all you have to do is set the application menu mode property on the XAM ribbon control to the Office 2010 enumeration value. Not setting this property will basically throw it back to the Office 2007 enumeration value, which is set by default. So there are two events that fire with the Application Menu 2010 when you use this. One event is the Application Menu 2010 opening event. So this fires when the Application Menu is opening and you can use this event to set permissions upon any of the elements that you feel shouldn't be accessible by certain end users depending on their role. The other event is application menu 2010 closing and again this fires the moment the application menu is closing Then, and again right there you can do something you could execute some logic. You can set the caption of the application menu 2010 which essentially is this tab here and you could set it to any value that you wish. You can also customize the caption template by getting access to the template and using a data template to place any other items in there that you wish. You can also easily style the application menu by setting the trim color property to any color that you want and the control will automatically take your color and apply it to the various styling elements that you see here. So that way you can customize the colors to match with the rest of your application. So this is the application menu 2010, part of our XAM ribbon control. Try it out today and integrate this into your applications to provide your end users with a really great end user experience. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.